video in case you have a trailblazer chassis and it's missing some body panels or more specifically the b pillars uh, i could not get it to start after i cut these wires on the driver's side b pillar i uh, also cut similar pack over there on the passenger side um, but what i basically found was it would give me a, a u1000 condition uh, so this is class 2 data link and that basically means that the PCM in the engine is there and the BCM for the body in there uh, were no longer communicating and it turns out uh, it's from this wire pack. So in my case I'm going to be going to some old Chevy truck bodies, one of those two. Um, so I will not be using like power windows uh, But It would not start and I had to figure out why and what happened was there were three wires So you can see there's a couple coming from this way and a couple coming from this way and From the wires coming from the BCM to here The three wires that I had to manually ground to get this to start. There is a black wire there's a gray wire and there's like a tan salmon color wire or something like that. And I just grounded here uh, to get it to start. Uh, how I found that was in the BCM there's a ribbon. And I used a multimeter to test continuity on the ribbon. Uh, the pins were I believe A11 and B11. So if you go through with the multimeter you can take the ribbon off uh, carefully like slide the pin out go on pins A11 and B11 and then uh, test continuity on these wires here and you'll find these three wires and so the solution once I figure out how I want to route this and mount this for the truck body I think it's just going to live here um, and I know like cable links and such I'll, I'll crimp and ground these to the chassis um, a, a friend mentioned to me that GM had crimped the ground higher up on the chassis here uh, for corrosion resistance. Uh, so that's kind of what got it here. So uh, this is a really interesting chassis. Uh, it should be a fun project and hopefully it'll help somebody save some headache.